The Wax blockchain is one of the most undervalued ecosystems in crypto. I don't say that lightly. I don't hype things unnecessarily, but I have been in this ecosystem since the beginning and they have some of the best NFT utilities and projects out there. They just don't get the exposure. So today I'm gonna to give a spotlight to an RPG passive game on the Wax blockchain that is just getting started and has a really great fa uh, fantasy RPG dungeon crawler feel to it where you can earn your crypto. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. The Wax blockchain, like I said, is one of the most undervalued NFT ecosystems out there. And so I love to put a spotlight on some of my friends that are doing cool things in that ecosystem because it just doesn't get the amount of attention that we see on other platforms like Solana or Avalanche or Ethereum. And it's I, I don't really understand it sometimes. I don't really understand it uh, because there is so much more uh, crazy in-depth cool things going on on wax and so we'd like to get that out there a little bit more so we're gonna take a look at a product today called realms of arcovia that uh, is doing something a little bit different here on the wax blockchain but uh, is right up my alley in the rpg uh, genre so before we get to that though if you love gaming you love nfts and earning money in crypto make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel here and smash that like button if you like what you see and then jump in our community of stashers We'd love to have you in Discord there, talking with NFTs, gaming, and the metaverse with us. So Realms of Arcovia is a passive fantasy RPG dungeon crawler game here on the Wax blockchain. And that's a lot right there to just uh, to take in. But in general, what it means is it's not an active game. So if you've played something like Alien Worlds or Deploy Starship, uh, it is in a very similar type of realm where you're going, you're setting some cards up, and then you know the, the result is a kind of time-based result. And so right now, this game is just getting started. They've uh, launched uh, like a, an alpha version right now where they've done kind of like a pre-sale drop where you can get your heroes and, and a couple other items for the game. But uh, they're really looking to launch this here in April with a, uh, a beta, an actual beta version. But you can play right now. So you can play and you can jump into the dungeon of Traelia. Uh, Traelia is with the very first dungeon that you can assign your hero to and you can go out there and complete levels and and this is to earn arcovian coin and arcovian coin is their in-game currency right now it's not enabled but that will come with the beta uh you do need to have one hero nft to get started and play this game they are incredibly cheap on the marketplace on atomic hub so you only need about one and a half wax uh, invested to be able to get started and playing and so, like I said, this is a passive type of game where you set your, your lineup and your equipment, and then you go in and you defeat these different levels uh, of each dungeon. So there is a cooldown between each level that you can fight. So when you go in there, it's gonna be you know an hour plus cooldown between each level. So you're gonna have to wait to get your, your results of whether you pass it or you die, right? Uh, and then after you do this kind of full run and you've gone through it, uh, you know, there's going to be a longer cooldown for that too. So the interesting thing about this is that they've made this actually pretty dang tough. Only two people to date have completed the final level of this dungeon, this very first dungeon here. And they've actually reserved some really cool NFTs for people who have completed that level called the Nine Dragons of Arcana. And so this is a special NFT that are going to go to the very first people who uh, complete that level. So only two so far have done it. So it's not the easy thing to do. Now, when we talk about getting in pre uh, preparation here for the beta that they are getting ready to launch, they are doing a promo drop here for Swamp Soldiers and uh, Olive Land. So they got some promo drops coming here on March 4th. But their big, their next big pack drop for their game is the Nature Drop on March 11th. And this is gonna be extra tomes and extra gear chests. And so they have two different sizes there, uh, large and small for both of them. And I believe those are $7 for the small and $14 of wax for the larger ones. You're getting one and five NFTs in those things. So if you wanna get started, this is a great time to do it just ahead of the beta launch. And then, you know, down the road here, they're going to be launching new adventures. So you're going to have uh, brand new dungeon maps that are coming here in May and in August after they kind of get going. 
Uh, but now is a really, I think now is actually a really good time to get into this because all the players that get uh, involved in the alpha and the beta, they will be rewarded with the Arcovian coin based upon their progress and you know how much they've been involved prior to the launch of that currency, which is coming with this beta. So definitely a good time to be looking at it and getting involved and adding another passive game to your stable. You know, if you play enough of these passive games, you know, you could really time it to where, you know, you're playing a passive game, then you move on and you play the next passive game and then you move on. And then by the time you get done with the last passive game, the first one is now ready to go again. So that's something you could definitely pull off on Wax because there are quite a few different passive games there. Uh, and you could be earning just, you know, in constantly all day long. Now they do have a lot of really cool features that are getting ready to be launched here. Uh, one of those is staking your Arcobian coin, which you'll be able to do to get power boosts in the dungeons. So the more you stake, the more boosts you're gonna be able to get, which gives you, uh, you know, additional powers and lets you easily, you know, pass some of these levels. Uh, without, without those boosts, you, it may not be possible to be able to get that if you don't have the right gear or right combination of heroes and gear. Now, the other really cool thing they have coming up is the Alchemy Lab, and this is going to be where you'll be able to mix rare ingredients together to create powerful potions and enchantments. And so these will be the things that you find while you're battling. They'll be in different you know, adventure zones, so you have to kind of travel around and you know, get as many as you can. And then you can uh, use your Arcovian coin to buy uh, some of the base ingredients from the store and then combine those all together in your cauldron and hopefully be able to you know get some of these really cool potions back from that too. So uh, that's another uh, interesting feature. And then they also have something that they're gonna be adding here uh, later this year too called transmutation stones. And these are essentially like uh, stones that you can get which are maxed out at four that allow you to get some passive income. So you're actually earning our Kobean coin just by holding these stones. So there's a lot of elements here of how you can actually earn. Obviously it's very focused on completing the dungeon levels and earning the coin for completion but there are other ways of doing it. So I really love the fact that they have a couple of really cool things on their roadmap getting ready to go here. So if you guys like passive games, not an active game, but just a game that is focused more on playing and earning, or playing playing to earn versus playing and earning, we, we talked about that here on the channel on the live stream a couple of times, whether we're moving that direction or not, but this is definitely a play to earn game and you, like I said, it could be a great addition to your stable of play to earn games that are passive here on the Wax blockchain to continue to uh, play and earn. So hopefully you guys like this uh, review here of uh, Realms of Arcovia. This is uh, you know, like uh, coming here in May. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you're jumping in now or if you're going to wait till maybe the beta comes out, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Or if you're one of my Wax friends, drop in the comments below. I want to know if you guys are out there on Wax, hanging out, playing games, trading NFTs and having fun. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.